you guys know I love a good luxury or niche fragrance. However, I also like to save money. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some affordable fragrances that I recently added to my collection. If you're interested, then please keep watching. So before we get into the fragrances, let me quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things that you're into, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe now. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey all, welcome back to my channel and thanks again for tuning in. So let's get into these fragrances. So the first couple fragrances we're going to talk about are actually from Dossier. Now, I know a lot of you have probably heard of them. They are a fragrance brand that gives you luxury type scents for minimal prices. So their prices range from $29 to $39. I know quite often that people can be skeptical of new fragrance companies, especially ones that they keep hearing about on YouTube because they think people are getting paid to, to say good things about them. But I promise you guys, they did not pay me. They did send me a couple fragrances, but they did express that they wanted me to give my honest feedback. And so that's what I'm here to do. This is my second time receiving fragrances from the company. And I have to say, this time around, I feel like the fragrances are way better than the ones I got the first time. So first up, I'm gonna start with the favorite one that they sent me. So I'll quickly show you the packaging. They all come in these boxes, um, just a plain box that opens up like so. Now mine is not gonna be neat in here because I have been using these, um, but I did keep everything in here. So it kind of gives you a little bit of information on the box about the company, that they're made in France, risk-free order, meaning that they do allow returns as long as you do not open the large bottle. They send you a sample inside, so they allow returns of the full bottle and you can keep the sample if you just decided that that's not the fragrance for you. Also, they are vegan and cruelty free and they use clean ingredients. Um, they also send you this card that kind of talks more about the actual fragrance inside. So it'll give you, all, it gives all the notes and it also gives you the inspiration uh, fragrance. So this first one that is actually my favorite is powdery hawthorn is the name and all of their fragrances are named just by notes which is honestly not my favorite just because i feel like it's so easy to get mixed up i can never remember that type of name but i think they do it just because they want to keep all the other stuff minimal so that they can pass along those savings to their customers so um like i said it's powdery hawthorn is the one that i have, have been loving and the inspiration fragrance for this is none other than Tom Ford Metalique. Now, you guys know, hopefully you know, I am a big, big Tom Ford girl. I love Tom Ford Metalique. I have the bottle right here. I've had it for a while. And I honestly, when I told him I wanted to try this one, I was really not thinking that it would be anything like Metalique because Metalique is pretty pretty unique i mean it's a vanilla uh kind of like a woody vanilla but it has a metallic thing to it that makes it so different than any other vanilla i tried and i have to tell y'all dossier killed it it is so so similar and i find that perf that the performance is very in line with the tom ford version so a lot of people give metal league a lot of flat because they think it's not like a really strong fragrance and it doesn't last long I find that Metal Leak lasts a good amount of time on my skin and on my clothing, but it is not like the strongest like beast mode scent. Dossier's version is not a beast mode fragrance either, but I find like the I cannot tell the difference between these two. And I like I said, I've loved and worn Metal Leak for over a year since this first came out. I've had it and this dossier version is like uh, the truth. So what I did the other day is I wore Metalique in the morning and then when I took the dossier version with me to work so that when I felt like I wanted to touch up like six, seven hours into wearing a fragrance, then I touched up with this. Um, so that would be that could definitely be an option if you own Metalique already and you just find that you like to touch it up. Um, but if you don't want to spend Tom Ford money, let me tell y'all, this one is the absolute truth. Like, I could not believe it. I did not have high hopes at all. <laughs> I'm gonna just be completely honest, but they killed it. So yeah, that, that was super exciting for me. 
Okay, the second fragrance that I received from them this time is called Woody Sandalwood. And the inspiration behind this one is Lilabo Santal 33. Now, Santal 33 is probably the most famous scent from Lilabo. I've actually never smelled it, never tried it. The Labo is not really big in my area. I do like sandalwood fragrances, but I've never wanted to fork out the money on the Labo just because, I don't know, I've heard mixed reviews and it's just one of those companies that I haven't really gotten into yet. So when I saw that they now have this fragrance on there, I was super excited to try it. And I have to say, I do really like it. Well, I like it, but I'm not sure how it's going to fit into my fragrance <laughs> family just because it is pretty strong and it's really woody and that's a good thing but at the same time i live in a really hot area i live in florida and we do get some cold days like today it is 70 degrees it's the high 73 degrees is the high today um so i mean it's not cold cold and honestly it's just to me, when I wore this, I've only worn it one time. When I wore it, I felt like it was a bit overpowering. Now, for those of you who live in colder areas, you will probably love that. I was actually surprised at how potent and beast mode this fragrance was. And it, to me, I've only worn it the one time, but the one time that I wore it, it lasted about seven hours. Um, so yeah, at least seven hours. I mean, I don't know, I didn't measure the time, but I can say that it was still on me when it was time for me to take my shower that night. So it was at least seven hours. Um, but yeah, so if you like Santal 33, but you don't want to fork out the money for it, definitely try Dossier's version. Um, it is, it's good. I just don't know if I love the scent per se on me and, you know, with it being so heavy, but I definitely think it's worth it. Now, those are the two they sent me. I am doing a giveaway with Dossier. Yay! So thank you, Dossier, for doing this giveaway. I will leave the giveaway rules down below. Uh, so make sure you check out those rules there. The way that this giveaway will work is that um, I will choose the winner. Dossier will send the fragrances directly to you. So it is US only. I did want to point that out. But just make sure you look in the description box down below and I'll have the full set of rules on how you can enter this giveaway. So thank you Dossier for the giveaway. Real quickly, I did want to mention one other one that they sent me last time around. Just because if you win this giveaway, you get to pick the bottle you want. And this is another one that I, I would highly recommend. So this one is called Fresh Woody 5 and this one is inspired by Creed Aventus. And I wanted to mention this because I gave this to my husband and he actually really likes it. He does not own Creed Aventus. He had a um, sample of it once and he really liked it. But when I told him how much it costs, he didn't want to he didn't want me to get that for him y'all he was like no mm -mm, no <laughs> so when i got this i knew it would be perfect for him and he absolutely loves it he says he gets a lot of compliments on this when he wears it to work so yeah i just wanted to mention that real quick but this is not really part of the new fragrances but i felt like i should mention that just in case that's one you want to try to win in this giveaway so on to the two fragrances that i purchased so I only have two fragrances here to share with you guys, but I did feel like they were definitely worth the video. <laughs> so uh, I know my hauls sometimes are a lot bigger than this. And I do have another haul coming um, from Sephora from their sale, if my stuff ever gets to me. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But I did want to include these two fragrances but they, because they are nice, affordable fragrances as well. And I just think you get a lot for your money with these two fragrances that I picked up. So the first one is really popular here on YouTube. And because of that, the prices have like kind of skyrocketed on this particular fragrance. But I ended up ordering this from a fragrance by CA. And both of these fragrances that I ordered were under $50 each. So I thought that was amazing. So all of the fragrances in this video are under $50. Like, come on. So the fragrance that I'm talking about is none other than Shagaf Oud. And I have to give a shout out to Kiko Beauty. She is the one who, she's not the first person I heard about this fragrance from, but she's the one who convinced me that I needed it. <laughs> and a lot of people say this is very similar to Lancome's Oud Bouquet. I've never smelled Oud Bouquet, but I did own a clone for Oud Bouquet that I no longer own. And I have to say this does smell very similar. So, hey. Uh, but this is what the bottle looks like. Now everybody talks about how they love this gold bottle. And I have to say, 
mm, it's not really doing it for me um it's kind of gaudy looking in my opinion however i do think that if you turn it around it looks a lot better that way um so i'll be I'll be sitting the bottle in my collection like this because I think the words in the front just really throw it off for me. But yeah, this is a, a bright, shiny bottle. So other than the bottle, I do really like this fragrance. It has the oud in there, which kind of makes it deep and dark and woody. But then it also has the floral nuances in there that helped kind of lift it up. So I feel like this fragrance has that perfect combination of the two so that it can be worn at nighttime for sure. But I also feel like you can wear this during the day, um, especially if you live in a place where it's colder. Even if you don't live somewhere super cold, I still think you could get away with this. Maybe not in the dead of summer because I feel like it could be overpowering. But during like fall, winter, spring, I definitely think you can get away with this during the daytime if you like big bold fragrances. So yes, this is just very like sensual, it's sweet, it's spicy, and it's definitely woody. Um, so yeah, this is Shagaf Oud. I feel like I don't need to say too much about this because it is so popular here on YouTube, but I was super happy to finally be able to add it to my collection. And then the last fragrance that I have is the one that I'm most excited for. I'm actually wearing it today for the very first time. But this is from the brand Latafa and it's called Oud for Glory. So it comes in this box. Um, my plastic here already cracked. I dropped it when I first got it and plastic cracked, but that's okay. I don't care about these boxes anyway, but I figured I would show it to you. So it comes like that and it lifts up. And then the bottle is like this and it's actually pretty heavy duty i'm not sure if this is a metal bottle um i think it may be metal i'm not sure though it could be painted glass but it kind of feels like metal uh, but if you look at this bottle then i'm sure you know what it's being compared to so initio makes a fragrance called ooh for greatness i've never smelled any initio um, fragrances i do not have initio in my area and Initio is one of those brands that I think I would like them, but it's one that I kind of don't want to try because they are so expensive that I do not want to get on the Initio train. <laughs> I would just be completely honest with you all. And you can never really find them discounted, so I just can't justify it. So when I heard about this fragrance, which I believe I heard about it from Lulu here on YouTube. Um, I'm pretty sure that's who I heard about it from. I heard about this fragrance, I knew I wanted to try it because Oud for Greatness has been on my list of things that I want to smell for a long time. So Oud for Glory by Latafa is now mine. And I can't talk about how it compares to Oud for Greatness because like I said, I've never actually smelled that, but I love it. <laughs> so this one is a darker Oud. So I do think it's a little bit heavier than say Shagaf Oud that I just mentioned. Um, so it's a darker oud. I feel like there's some leather in there. Um, there is some sweetness to it, but this is not an overly sweet scent. And there's definitely some spiciness to it. And I was surprised to notice that when I initially sprayed this, it gave me Baccarat Rouge vibes. Now, y'all know I'm not really into the Baccarat Rouge dupes. Like, I'm kind of over it. Uh, this is definitely not a dupe or anything like that. But um, there is something particular in Baccarat Rouge when you spray it that to me smells different than anything else besides all these other fragrances that have now come out after Baccarat Rouge that have that same something to it. Some people say it's the saffron. I don't know if that's the case, honestly. It's just something, it's something about the blend of notes in Baccarat Rouge that has that very different smell if, if you had never smelled any Baccarat Rouge dupes and you smell Baccarat Rouge then you know what I'm talking about um it has that certain something in it that sets it apart and to me this fragrance also had that at first spray now I've only been wearing this for about an hour I can say that as it's on my skin I no longer smell that but I've never like I haven't worn this for a full full wearing yet so I don't know if it goes away or maybe it stays the whole time and just right now I can't smell it. Um, but I did want to mention that because when I initially like opened the box and sprayed this just in the air, that's initially what I thought of. Like, hmm, that kind of smells similar to Baccarat Rouge. So I just wanted to put that out there. It is definitely not a dupe or anything like that, but there is something in it that it has in common with Baccarat Rouge for sure. When I tried to Google uh, the notes for this fragrance, I actually could not find them, but 
hopefully by the time I post this video you would have seen notes here on the screen for it um because I will keep looking to try to let y'all know but yeah this one is sweet and smoky and like spicy but not too sweet um definitely like a deeper darker fragrance I definitely don't think I could wear this when it's really hot uh, I am wearing it today but I'm mainly going to be indoors so I think this is perfect for like winter or fall if you live in a colder area um, but yeah so far so good I'm really liking this and I'm super happy I picked it up if any of you all own Ooh for Glory and you smell Initios Ooh for Greatness please let us know in the comments how they compare because um, I'm really interested to know that because I'll probably never smell Ooh for Greatness because I just don't foresee myself blind buying that and um, I don't know unless I order a sample one of these days who knows but so far I am loving Ooh for Glory for whatever it's worth I don't care if it's a clone I don't care if it's meant to be like the initial one I'm just loving it for its own its own merit y'all so yeah so that is it for my little affordable fragrance haul please make sure you check out the directions for the giveaway down below so that you can enter the win one of the dossier fragrances if you are interested also make sure you check out dossiers um black friday sale that they have going on right now um they have some good deals on there already great pricing so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh please let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of the fragrances mentioned and what you think of them and i'll see you guys in the next video bye